Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the D Rich Show, where we talk anything and everything crypto. Now, here's your host, D Rich. everybody welcome back to the d rich show this is d rich and today is wednesday hump day january 26 2022 how is everybody doing out there today hope that you guys are well and as always hope that this video like every other video finds you all in good health good spirits and good energy so thank you guys for tuning in thank you for coming back to the channel for today make sure you hit the like button on your way in support your investment with one easy click and I want to make sure that we acknowledge all of you for tuning into yesterday's video, which was a pretty good video for all of the community to take a look at. So here we are again today um, with another video. We're going to be talking about smart contracts, which will be coming to the Stellar Network. And we're going to look at the quarter four of the Stellar Development Foundation review of 2021. And I know I'm a little late. But HBAR does have an upcoming webinar, depending on your location, wherever you may be. But uh, most definitely, we're going to go over that just so that we can actually lead you to that. So if even if I'm late, you have the idea that you can actually go back and rewatch whatever they are discussing or get back online as it is ongoing uh, today. So we'll touch base on that. But as we are looking at the market, we are going to get into the coin market cap because it looks like it is bouncing around a little bit in the green. So we're going to go check that out. So let's go ahead and get into the coin market cap. All right, here we go again to start off the video. As always, um, Bitcoin's dominance 41.6%, Ethereum at 18.1 there, with a global crypto market cap right now sitting at 1.74 trillion which is a 7% deep, um, increase over the last day, folks. So here we are, we're um, moving upwards, not knowing if it's like a bear trap or whatnot, but uh, proceed with caution, um, still do your due diligence, um, continue to uh, watch the market cycles and um, see how they apply to you in regards to how uh, you're looking at this. So anyway, we got some trending tokens, some biggest gainers, some recently added tokens. Right now, Bitcoin, $38,203.14. As Ethereum is at $2,635.20 there. As we see BNB getting closer to getting back over $400.395.39. As we see USDC, $48.6 billion market cap. And Cardano there um, at number six at a dollar eleven. So again, um, up about uh, eight to nine pennies since yesterday. As we see Solana at ninety nine seventy two at the number seven position, flip flopping back and forth. Excuse me with XRP. So again uh, with XRP. Speaking of XRP, here we are, um, sixty three seven. All right, a great great buying opportunity to continue to. Uh, load up um, and accumulate and acquire uh, your XRP holdings. And again, always encourage folks to uh, divvy them up. Okay, when I say divvy them up, that means, you know, have you a bag of this over here, over there. <clears throat> and most definitely, you always want to have a bag, bag of XRP to play with um, to capitalize on gains, secure uh, your wealth or your profits. Um, because again, um, it might go, come down where you can buy back in and still do your thing and you're not uh, really sweating that you got rid of any XRP. So anyway, um, it's never financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but again, I will always say plant as many trees as you possibly can. Um, some will make it and some will thrive, but most definitely, you know, that, uh, you got different, uh, fruit to bear from those that you can pick from so do that if you want to look at it from that perspective anyway terra luna 64 dollars 14 cents dogecoin 15 cents in the top 10 rounding out the top 10 and we got polka dot sitting at number 11 19 dollars 24 cents and again folks if you were uh, here yesterday you know that the market was really really 
really red and as you can see over the last seven days we still got a lot of uh, uh percent that we can make up um <clears throat> when that becomes uh clear so again here i'm i'm going to go over a few that i'm i'm looking at uh, most definitely we're looking at xrp we're looking at cardano there and even at um, $71.13, AVAX looks uh, pretty good there for me. Uh, Litecoin as well. And then here, again, Chainlink, $15 yesterday, $16.34 today. Um, Algorand there, we're looking at some Stellar at $0.20 cents there. And um, HBAR, which we'll go over briefly here today, some VeChain at 5 pennies. Um, let's see what else we got, folks, because I want to make sure that we are focusing on some of these here. Um, like IOTA and um, got uh, some others. Sorry, that. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but I want to make sure that we are focused on some of these. Tezos looking good at $3 there as well. Gala Games, 21 cents. Um, here we are. We got, let's see what else we got, folks. Quant at 108. Cello, $3.25. Uh, these are some of the ones that I'm eyeballing now. Hopefully. Uh, we can continue to uh, accumulate um, extra funds where we can actually go ahead and buy the dip. And um, XDC at six pennies yesterday, we were still at six pennies, but again, great buying opportunity there. And um, those are some ones that we want to continue to accumulate. And I know that uh, a lot of folks have left some good comments yesterday or whatnot. I have yet to respond to you folks, but. Um, Yes, XDC is way undervalued. Um, so again, um, listen to some of these folks out there. You know, some of these folks do their own research <clears throat> and due diligence too, um, because um, you know we want to make sure that we kind of have some similar ideas and perspectives when it comes to certain digital assets like Stellar. So here, Stellar, um, this is one of their blogs that uh, was released yesterday. Um, the network and innovation of our 22 uh 2022 roadmap where they want to bring smart contracts to the stellar network and again sdf strategy for 2022 is set and available for all to see on their roadmap which i'll show you here shortly um, it is ambitious but so is our mission of creating equitable access to the global financial system and we need to think bigger and deliver um, our path forward we're looking at what we can do this year to further trust minimize um, <clears throat> further trust minimize innovation expand and growing anchor network and arguably most importantly maintain an unrelenting focus on increasing the scale of interoperability as well as inclusion and we've asked where we can challenge ourselves so um, to adapt to the new possibilities and see the opportunity uh, to extend stellar and most immediately for 2022, we've answered the question with smart contracts. And here you can listen to the VP of uh, Ecosystem, Justin Rice, who will uh, share more about the plan to bring smart contracts to Stellar. Here you can watch that video. It is um, going to be left in the description. Um, you can click that link there. And again, uh, since Stellar Network was built for the future of payments, it is critical that smart contracts on Stellar are secure for users and can scale without exorbitant network fees. And if done right, this could set smart contracts on Stellar apart from the rest. Smart contracts aren't new, but the way we could execute them on the Stellar network, learning from what's been tested in the broader industry could bring new utility in a way that doesn't currently exist. And that's why we're pursuing them. So again, uh, the 2022 roadmap, they're committed to doing the research. Uh, shepherding the code development and working with the Stellar community to build a smart contract implementation this year. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. I don't care what anyone says for Stellar to add and implement st uh, smart contracts, just like we talked about with XDC and some of these other um, ISO 222 uh, tokens. Um, they are providing just that. And these guys are going to be the leaders um, in this space. And let me just let me clarify something. Just because an ecosystem or a token um, is not <clears throat> ISO 222 compliant, 
that doesn't mean that they will just disappear or they won't have no value. Um, I do believe that every ecosystem, every token, whether it be under you know a network, whether it be under a blockchain, um, they will have to work towards getting uh, compliant or getting uh, to that standard or that messaging system uh, where everything is interoperable and everything is tested and uh, things like that. So in the future, um, when these go live here, like XTC, XLM, XRP, Quant, HBAR, some of those tokens that we've talked about, IOTA, Algorand, when those go live, um, that doesn't mean that those other networks um, won't have uh, those functionalities um, later, if you get what I'm saying. So just keep keep that in mind um, that not all is bad when it comes to that. So anyway, here is their 2022 roadmap, building blocks to interoperability and inclusion, which we just um, said before we got to this page. They also want to increase scalability and network innovation activate more network participation, which will be able to develop a competitive, open and inclusive technical strategy. And then it would also increase the ecosystem engagement and technical integrations. They also wanna advocate and participate, grow uh, the policy engagement, leverage marketing as a tool for growth of the ecosystem on Stellar. And then they also wanna fuel growth through creative investment strategies and then they also, again, want to demand and promote inclusion, invest in regional research on financial inclusion. They also want to expand mandate and to prior prioritize inclusion and deliver network effects through inclusion as well. So again, folks, here is their 2022 roadmap. I'm not going to read all of it. Obviously, it's a lengthy um, blog here. Okay, and this is coming straight from there website stellar.org so that is something that you should uh, most definitely put a little star there to make sure that that is on your page on your dashboard so you can look at it so anyway um here was yesterday sorry that i'm coming with this a little bit late danelle dixon's candace kelly justin rice and jake shervinsky um they were on yesterday at 9 a.m for a presentation of the stellar uh, stellar development foundation quarter four 2021 um, in review so again um, if you want to go to YouTube this is up you go ahead and check that out look for the uh, stellar development foundation quarter four 2021 review um, when you look for that so um, again my apologies for being late but it is never uh, going to not be spoken because then you can still go back um, and review uh, some of this information a day later or anywhere um, where you might have some available time on your hands to kind of put this on your to-do list. So anyway, um, this was an email that was received yesterday, and I wanted to make sure that I put it there for you guys to look at as well. So if you are into HBAR um, and things like that, today they have a um, webinar with uh, Mance and Limon, and um, it's open source decentralized and shared worlds and this is this Wednesday which is today you're going to learn about um, Hedera's Hashgraph IP purchase and commitment to open source and again um, they talked to me hi Daryl um, that's my name if you don't know um, last week uh, the Hedera governing council announced a vote to purchase the intellectual property rights to Hashgraph consensus algorithm from Swirls Inc and the governing council members further made a commitment to make the code open source under Apache 2.0 license in 2022. And again, you can join them today on YouTube to learn more about why the governing council voted to purchase the Hashgraph IP and the commitment to open source. And again, Mance and Limon will be um, available to dive deeply into the vision for share worlds on Hedera. So you can watch that on YouTube. This will also be in the description, folks, so that you guys um, can go check it out on your time um, when it's available to you. I like to always hear from folks. I always like to listen in to other people's ideas, um, especially when it comes from uh, the horse's mouth. Lastly, folks, before I go, I wanted to make sure that um, 
you guys are um, understanding where I'm at here in 2022. I'm always try to put them on paper. Um, I'm working on my mission statement. I'm working on my vision statement as well. So that will be posted here shortly. Um, that should have uh, been already in play, but uh, here we are. Um, I think a lot of folks know, you know, my personality, my temperament um, and character uh, thus far. So we'll get that um, up and running. So you guys can come to my personal website, which is the richshow.com. And if you want, you can go through it, my episodes, things like that. Um, the roadmap here is for 2022. And this is what I want to do. And this is what I'm looking forward to here uh, with the channel um, in 2022. And I'll go over it real quickly. Um, and, you know, some people think that it might be a little bit too lofty, um, too um, high of an expectation or whatnot. But um, everything I try to do is within reason. And um, that is just up to me to uh, work a little bit hard to achieve these um, by the end of the year. So anyway, within quarter one, I want to be able to get to uh, 3,000 subs on YouTube, two fully minted and listed NFTs. We're working with creators on that. And then I would like to get the Do Rich Show, the LLC, my business cards and flyers made up, and would like to get my merch store fully and uh, operational by the end of quarter one. So that'll be about uh, March. So give me some time on that as we work in our due diligence on getting that up and going. And uh, quarter two, 5.5 thousand subs on YouTube. And then we're going to give it 5,000 sub giveaway, three fully minted and listed NFTs. So again, that's going to be five within this uh, range. Then I want to work on getting my client base set up um, so that we can start doing one-on-ones um, and things like that, support and everything else. So again, um, I will be doing some live streams. I will be starting to get comfortable with doing that, showing my face, um, talking to other members out there in the community. So um, to me, it's a process, it's a buildup. So, you know, at the start of the year, I said, hey, what can I do this year to um, improve myself and try to get myself out there, meet with folks, talk to folks. Um, I'm not typically normally shy, but when you're doing something brand new behind the scenes, um, you got to kind of get built up and comfortable to that to that liking of your own choice. So anyway, here is quarter three and quarter four. You can check those out on your own because I know they're a little bit lofty. Um, and then that's just the way I believe. I put it out there in the atmosphere uh, for what I want to do and um, what I want to achieve. And it's just like with anyone, I tell you guys to put your goals down, put them on a piece of paper, um, whether it be here on your own personal website or um, just goals that you've written down personally that you know that are achievable, obtainable, redoable, um, where you continue to flip your goals and continue to flip them. Um, because then you know you're confident, you're successful, um, and you're getting things accomplished, which is always uh, a benefit. So I always say, hey, take some time out to read every single day, 15 to 30 minutes. Um, exercise at least 30 minutes a day, which I've been attempting to do. Um, and, and those things and everything else will begin to fall in place. And always remember, uh, faith is always uh, associated with a lot of the things that you're doing. Um, because if you have a poor attitude or you get defeated, yeah, we get defeated, uh, but yet you got to still maintain a balance uh, where you are continue to uh, see progress. At any rate, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button on your way out. If you enjoyed the content, go ahead and share it on your favorite social media platforms, whether it be Telegram, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of those. Uh, different sources where the D Rich show can expand and reach uh, those numbers that we're looking to reach within those quarters. So anyway, um, hit the subscription button if you do enjoy the videos and channel. Thank you guys so much for again tuning in to the channel. You guys are greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. We're almost to the end of the week already. We're almost through the first month of the year. Just like that. God bless, take care, and as always, treat everyone with class, dignity, and respect. Bye-bye.